What is going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I'm going to showcase to you guys my Prison of Elders looting results from the first time I ran it officially. Now you guys know I ran it about three weeks back when I was invited out to the Bungie headquarters to play the House of Wolves early. This isn't including that, this is including only since the DLC has been officially released. Now we all know you need to run it on a level 28 before you can unlock it on a 32, 34 and 35. At this current moment in time I've only run it on a level 28 but I've still got some half decent loot drops from it. Now in the background now you're seeing us play the Prison of Elders. The last boss in the Prison of Elders on a level 28 is just, it's just straightforward. It's, it's a walk in the park. It's so easy it isn't even a bother. I'm, I'm even certain I could probably even solo this which I may even attempt sometime in the future. Now getting straight into my loot results. We all know the treasure room offers three chests. The main chest you need a treasure key to open which you can get from the Prison of Elders or you can get it farming ether chests. And there's two chests either side, left and right. From the left chest I got five spirit bloom and one more of light. And from the right chest I got two more morts of light. Now from the main biggie goodie bag chest I got three morts of light, three strange coins, the hard light, her Kirstasy shotgun, which is the Queen shotgun, and 1216 glimmer. Now this main chest, I do believe, once per week, per character, no matter what level you run it on, is a guaranteed exotic drop. Don't quote me on that, but that is what I think is the case. Now taking a further look into my loot drops, the hard light is the newer version, being a 365 attack when fully maxed out. Not a weapon I'm actually too keen on to be honest, I mean I do like auto rifles, I still like them even after their nerf but the hard light isn't one I do get along with, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Now her courtesy shotgun is a different story, now I do like shotguns in the game even since they fucking screwed up, well people say screwed up Crucible, I still think even though they limited special ammo in Crucible, there's still enough ammo for someone like me who likes to run around shotgunning. Now her courtesy shotgun is a Queen's shotgun and its design is pretty sexy in that pink with a little bit of orange logo here and there. It reminds me a lot style wise to the fan verdict, especially with that what well, looks like a giant silence on the front or some would say probably a dildo, but we'll keep that on the low down. Um, now it's a Solar 331 attack weapon. I can ascend it and I can reforge it at the gunsmith at any time but I ain't gonna do that because it's got quite decent mods okay we have smooth ballistics we have CQB ballistics and we have aggressive ballistics which do increase that impact we then have a range finder aiming this weapon increases its effective range we then have flared magra we have lightweight and we have small bore increased range and stability slow reload reduced magazine size okay so this will take its magazine size down to what about three which is okay when you do have final round, the last round in the magazine deals bonus damage which does work well with any weapon which has got a low magazine and I'm actually liking this weapon, I ain't even gonna bother reforging it, I mean I think it's mods right here are probably as good as I will get and I don't really want to waste my mods of light, I really don't but guys that is what I got from my first run of the Prison of Elders, what did you guys get? Let me know down below in that comment section as soon as I run on a 32 or a 34 I will let you guys know my loot results thanks again for stopping by if you could drop a like i would appreciate the support and peace out until next time peace